Some days, things just don't go our way. Brad struggles with one group in the morning, and I take them out in the afternoon to finish their ducks and was hoping for a bunch of geese. Well, it didn't end that way. Jason goes out in his usual fine form and cleans up what he needed to wrap up a perfect day for his group. And finally, Jeff goes out and endures a comedy of errors, but manages to put smiles on his hunters' faces. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Hey, J-Mo, how's it going over there? Well, uh, well down here, there's oh, every second field's got a thousand arctics in it. It's crazy. So it's very con oh. very confusing and probably a death wish, but uh, oh, I, I picked up a good one on Joe's, and oh, okay. uh, then I'm just going to check all my other stuff now. Still, I haven't seen a duck. Uh -huh. It's just all these silly arctics. Okay. Yeah. No no snow, so specks and little cans, right? Okay, lots of little cans in there? Yeah, there's quite a few kicking around, yeah. More 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 specks, but yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen any real big big, you know, arctic shows. But uh, I'm just racing over to that uh, to that duck hunt. It should be going good by now. Hope so. Uh, Jeff sounds like he'll be good to go. Yeah, that's good. That's one in the bag, you know. And okay, I'll uh, yeah, I'll check all these ones now. I'm because I'm the furthest away, so I'm just gonna make my way back. But like I say, I haven't. I've been down here at uh, the lake, yeah. and I haven't seen a duck yet. So either there, I can't. I can't wait around much longer. I gotta check these other hunts. Well, we'll chat in a bit, and we'll we'll have uh, more time to put it together, I guess. Sounds good. All right, Jay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. So, Jay picked up another one, but we think it might be kind of one that he had that flew across the road and joined up with another one. And So anyways, there's one there. No duck so we'll probably use it as an afternoon option. Jeff is good to go right now on a big combo, Arctic ducks, and they're on the guy's crop again. And then I'm going back to check these ducks, and I'm hoping they're they're in there. If they're not in there, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the scramble the jets button and, and let the guys know that uh, to be on high alert. We got to figure some stuff out. So that's all I know right now. We're still trying to put one together. All right, so we got two good duck hunts for the morning. I've got ducks on this hunt here, more geese. It's a little light on ducks, so we don't really want to start off with it. But with this one here, if something goes wrong in the morning with the other hunts that they only get a half a limit of ducks or whatever, they're shy, 10, 12, I can come in here and clean up the rest of their ducks and then shoot, hopefully, fingers crossed, a bunch of geese as well too. So that's the way we're going to do it, it sounds like. So those two will pin those hunts and then uh, we're going to make our way back to Lodge and check out a few more hunts. All right, so here's what's going on. Uh, talking to Brad, about a minute or two before legal light, Brad's ducks, his geese were leaving, some had left already, the ducks come off the roost and go right in. So, you know, I had hardly any ducks at sunset and in that last half an hour I got most of them. Who's this now? It's Brad, let's see what he has to say. Hey Brad. Hey buddy. How's it going? Oh, uh, all right. I don't see them feeding in there. They might have gone roost to roost too, but oh. they were in here this morning. I mean, what, you know, they're at that puddle. Yeah. I, I mean. And you got a bunch of honkers. Were the yeah, honkers there this morning? Oh yeah. You think, right. you think you're good or what? 
Yeah, I'm good. Okay, right on. All right. Right on. Right. Thanks, bye. bye. Okay, so so Brad's good to go. So anyways, we got about 200 big Canadas in there and ducks that fed there this morning with about 100 of them, they just didn't feed there tonight, but they all puddled and flew right over there and he doesn't have confirmation on the visual. So high percentage bed anyways. We're here pretty early this morning. Uh, you know, when you have the swaths to hide in, you don't really have to dress the blinds too much. So just compart the swaths, lift it up, slide the blind in, so that's done. Got the guys helping me put out some decoys. So I'm just putting them, like I said, heavy on the swaths, play in the wind, gonna shoot them in the face this morning. And uh, yeah, should be good. We got cloud cover, flat light. Wish it wasn't raining, but it is. Can't have everything. So yeah, just gonna finish up here, get a robo duck in the ground, and we're ready to hunt. Honkers out front, 10 o'clock. Go guys, go, 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 go. Go guys, go, 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 go. Straight out front guys, straight out front. Ready, ready, ready. Go, 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 go. Go, guys. Go, 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 go. They're getting funny off something. I don't know what it is. We should be landing there. Uh, just cleaning up here. We uh, made to chip away at them today. They didn't really like us. We got laughed at by a lot of flights, so, so. All right, so there's a swathed barley field, 640 acres with about 25 puddles in it. Bunch of ducks hitting it. Bunch of speckle bellies started hitting it. And just the way the hunts went this morning, you know, we got Brad ended up with only a few ducks and a few geese. So I'll take his guys in here just based on the volume. Uh, we'll get all of our ducks, and if we get, you know, 25 dumb geese come back, we should be able to pull that off. And then Jeff's guys got all their specs and only about 20 ducks, so Jay's got to hunt with specs, little canners, and enough ducks to get it done. So those are our two options. Uh, either way, I think it'll be, it'll be a pretty good hunt. And I'm just waiting for him now to get out of here, you know? So I'll know in about half an hour. If it was just a duck hunt, I would just hunt the puddle, throw out 75 floater decoys, stab a robo duck in there, but A, the ducks have been coming out quite late, and, and B, they're coming here to feed. Now, a lot of the feed activity was on that side of the pond, some was over there, lots of it right here, I can tell, is where the majority definitely on the southeast side, and in the northwest wind, you kind of want to be where the birds are, but, I also have a bunch of guys who can't really be in laydowns and do very fair, very well at laydowns. And speckle bellies in a big bush, we're not gonna kill any. But if I can get down, down by the water, back up 10 yards, get those ducks to come and look at us over the water and put a couple hundred speck decoys right behind us, create a hole, all we gotta do is get them excited and to drift over us. And I think we'll have the advantage of having cover the water and be able to shoot some of the ducks over the water if they come it that way or shoot them coming in try to get into the the feed right behind us this is the gap in the in the cattails that really is going to give us the opportunity to, to actually see the ducks approach and be able to shoot them especially from an upright blind back up 15 yards so it's gonna be 35 or 40, 35 yards to the robo dock and then i'll load up the top of the hill which is only another 35 or 40 yards and if the specs really start to target that, we can always turn the hunters around in the blind and shoot, shoot towards that. And I mean, we can always cross shoot the ducks if they're coming in that way. Anyways, we're on them, it's a hunt.
Okay, so here's the situation real quick. Birds are starting to come, so I gotta make this real quick. Wind's out of the west-southwest. Geese were feeding on the hill behind us with the ducks. I'm just gonna load up the puddle in front of us with duck decoys. I'm gonna put a bunch of spec uh, band collector decoys right in behind us. And we just want those birds to drift, stab two robo ducks out in front of us. If I have time, I'll put two clones out behind us. And the spec should just drift right over us, trying to come in and land. Some will even maybe puddle. Right now, they're active because there's a bit of a storm front coming through. I don't think they really want to feed. They're just up and going. So we should be all right. So we just got to take the time and set up. We got a really big, big upright blind right at the edge of the cover. And it should be, should be a sweet gig. And I mean, the birds are coming to look already. So it's just a matter of staying calm, getting the setup done properly and get it done. I got to go. Okay, we made it to the afternoon hunt. Uh, this is a combo hunt, smaller combo. The boys went out this morning and uh, they killed kind of a half limit of ducks and half limit of uh, geese, a little bit more than a half limit of geese. So we're just cleaning up the rest of their daily limit tonight. So cross our fingers, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> I have no control okay, of them. Close up, close up. Just yeah, swirling around. around. So we just got to go when we can, right? Yep. Go. behind us you guys get yep. ready they're gonna be above us above us on the left go above us on the left on the left if we hit them they will fall yes, yes. Yeah, if you hit them they'll fall wow ready go 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 got the light I got the first one good shot good shot you guys got two yeah Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, nice. nice I got that high one. Yeah, very good. But I think we're close to max on the geese. We only need one more. One more. Kill one. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. Well, that's a wrap. We uh, finished off a full limit today, so the boys went 40-40. Perfect day. Everyone's happy. We did it about an hour's time or so. We, uh, we had a lot of big Canada's doing it. You'll see that on film and we couldn't touch them because we had our limit already from this morning and from tonight. So that, but it's still fun to watch them. The boys, they come up here to see birds decoy and, and that was neat. So we're gonna pack up and uh, call it a night and go have some dinner. And the boys are out spotting right now for tomorrow morning's hunt. So we'll see how they're doing in a few hours. Couldn't be better. Lots of birds, lots of shooting, and uh, sometimes hitting. <laughs> Full Just the robo ducks here. behind us. Okay. Like if those ducks feel like, oh, sorry, feeding. Oh, right here, here guys, right here, right here, right, right in front. All right, guys, get down, cover up, let's be ready. Oh, speckle bell. Can you kill that guy? Kill. Too late now, guys. Too late. You'll see the book. Oh, right here, right here. Go, 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 go. Kill him. You hit him. I'm going to turn that. Uh, I'm going to turn the robo duck off. Okay. Here we go, we're coming back. Okay, our blinds are much better. The front, all the, the willows had collapsed. Those ones, those ones on the left, coming over.
Come right in, right in. Right side, let him hook, let him hook. Ready, ready, go, 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 go. Yeah, he's still flying. Right here, guys, right here, two ducks, two ducks coming right in. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Go, go, go. It's all right, he ain't going, he's dead. Back looks great. Try him, try him. These ones are spinning behind us again. Shoot him, shoot him. Single duck right here, guys. Pitching hard into the decoys. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah, right side coming in. We're gonna come right over the top. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Kill those guys, right there, right there, right. Get ready, guys. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Go, 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 shoot that one. Nice shot, D, that was D. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Get out in front, try these three guys. Get out way in front of them. You gotta shoot them when they're straight over the top. Right there. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay, three ducks out front. Coming right up the middle, guys. Right up the middle. Get ready. Nobody move. Go, 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 go. So <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but it just ended that way. Uh, you know, I can feel the wind now hitting me in the back of the ears and when it spreads over there, that's never good. Again, I had a total wind switch. Like, what do you do, right? Anyways, we got them. We shot the ducks we needed. We just gotta recover them now in the pond and a few in the swaths and we'll get them. We shot, I think, about a half a dozen specks. That was a weird thing, the way they came out so early tonight, that big storm cloud, but you know what? The guys shot lots, they're happy, they had a riot. Craig said, he goes, Claudio, I'm ready for my martini. Shot the last duck, so he's happy and time to pack up. Happy day. Big smiles, guys. You did it. And it's cocktail hour. Well, looks like this is where we're gonna hunt tomorrow. So, see how we do. Lots of birds in here though. Well, it looked all right last night, so we'll see if they're gonna come back and just sorta, the wind's not doing what it was supposed to do, so we're trying to set up in such a way that if it does shift, we can make the adjustments fairly easily. See a good pot of honkers and a good pot of ducks. And a few specks, not very many. Specks were mostly mixed in with the ducks, so hopefully the ducks come back. Ducks were a little bit flighty coming in though. They were big groups and they spun around a lot. I'm just gonna set this up like a big lazy U pattern so the birds have a place to come into land. Nice big wide pocket, lots of room for them. That doesn't seem to scare these ducks who are more skittish than the geese. Yeah. Let's go on the ducks. Get ready guys, the ducks are right low, right in front. Yeah. Rip them. Setting up, they're setting up. Get ready. Get ready. Rip them, rip them. 
Right in front. Rip him, rip him, rip him. I don't see a lot moving. If you guys want to go out and have a look at the moose, go ahead. Geese right in front of us. Oh, geese right in front to the right. Everybody stand behind the blind for a minute. Right in front. Rip him, rip him, rip him. Let's go in the ducks. Get ready, guys. The ducks are right low, right in front. Rip them. Rip them, rip them. Right there. Rip them, rip them. Coming down. Boom. Boom. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> hey, did you get my duck? Did you get my goose over there? I got the I couldn't think it wasn't Hawker. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be dead now. <laughs> okay, we had a pretty good hunt. We had lots of birds come in. Uh, shots weren't 100%, but we had a lot of fun. We dropped a bunch down. Not exactly sure how many we got. Nowhere near a limit by any means, so. We're going to pack up, see what we got here. We had some pretty good shots. One duck come right in the blind with us, so hit the one guy in the end, ricocheted off of him and hit me, landed behind us. So we'll see when we had a moose chase a guy in the field a little bit. So lots of fun. <laughs>